takes nine. Hello there YouTube, today we have another video about the Creality Sonic Pad and let me tell you what is new, that is the fix of the input shaper for the hot end and the print bed. So we are now going to try with this new firmware that has been released a couple days ago, we are going to test it if it is actually working. So people started complaining that I've actually showed that there is an update but didn't actually do the resonance testing. That's what we're going to do today. I opened my Creality Sonic Pad. So we're going to just go to Configure, Other Settings. And now here we're going to go to Advanced Options, Measuring Resonances. My printer is the Creality Ender 3 S1, so I'm going to just choose the first one and do next. It is installed, the cable is connected. Make sure your cable isn't like tangled or something, it's free. Make sure your cable is free like mine is now. So I'm going to do next. Sensor status is okay, you have to get this mes message otherwise you won't be able to continue. So I'm going to just do start test. It's going to home itself, as you can see. So let me just try to help this cable a bit, just like that. Right. So now it's go after it's been homed, it's just going to start doing the input shaping on the hot end. After that, it should give a message that hot end is done and then should pause it and I should be able to just move the sensor from the hot end to the bed. That's what we are testing now. So this will take some time and you can see here as well. And if you move your printer from here, let's say from here to here, you will have to do this resonance testing again. So it is even if you move the printer a little bit to the front or to the back, you will have to do the test again. So yeah, it is pretty sensitive in that way, but it's only for making better quality prints in a, on a higher speed. So that's what you have to do for that. You can hear the printer rumbling a bit. So moment of truth is pretty close. We'll see if it's going to stop and give us a message. Because if it doesn't, then I'm afraid the fix isn't there. But I'm pretty sure that the fix is there because I've been complaining on their website many, many times and they are aware of the problem. So when they told me the problem is fixed, I was kind of sure it's fixed, but you can't be too sure, you have to do it yourself. So now the test is complete. Let's, I think, let's just wait for a pop up. It does take its time. Yeah. So now it says X axis vibration compensation detection has been completed and the status is normal. Next step. All right, now this is what we were looking for. Please move the sensor from the X axis to the Y axis position as shown in the figure below. Do not disconnect the sensors from the, the screen during this process, sensor mounting area. So they want you to actually do the mounting right in the middle. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's what they show, but you can't do it, why? Because Guys, there is no way of moving this bed at the moment and not even your print head. So I cannot impossibly put it there. What I can do is I can put it, put the sensor here, which is fine. As long as it's on the bed and it's as long as the direction of the sensor is this way, just like you used on your uh, hot end. So let's, let me just put this on here. So guys, as you can see, I have mount it with double-sided tape let me just show you this tape it's really strong tape onto the bed so 
now we're just going to come here and say next step all right everything looks to be going as it's planned so now the bed is moving not touching making sure that the cable is free and just waiting until the resonance testing or calibration or measurement whatever you want to call it is done and then we can just see what it brings and guys stay tuned because I'm going to show you another thing but I also have bad news uh, about sonic pad and that is they promised us the SSH uh, login password they did they did give it out that's fine but you can't basically do much with it because uh, you cannot sudo on it so you want to install something on your own you're kind of locked out that is not really what open source means creality so if you're listening in any way make sure you know what open source means but because this is not open source what you're trying to tell us or sell us but other than that well they do at the moment they do make their up upgrades which is good if you have uh, no longer support within a couple of years you cannot do much updates so if creality stops updating this if creality decides to bring a sonic pad 2 out or something and then you are kind of locked to their system locked to their way of going to update the system so you cannot do anything on your own so now detection is complete as you guys can see it says vibration detection is completed so i'm gonna say detection complete the system will save the data to end reload after clicking the confirm button i'll say all right so now it should just restart it and this always happens for some reason uh okay it's completely out of its socket so no big deal it's just this as i said this glue on here is really good which is what you're actually looking for if it's vibrating and there are some microscopic movements in it it won't be 100 percent good right so now let's move to the surprise which is on my ipad so let's open it up so now as you guys know this is the sonic pad interface that we are used to but now since the last update they have implemented main sail which is here and to get onto main sail you do have to use a special port which is 88 hold on which is 8819 so you just type in your uh, printer's ip address and then you type double point and then 8819 and then you can get to main sail interface instead of uh, flute pie so here is flute pie as you can see but if you don't like fluid pie it's kind of the same but some people prefer mainsail like me on mainsail you have more options and the options are a little different so as you can see it is working i haven't tested so guys don't get angry with me i didn't test the mainsail at this moment but as far as i can see here it works fine so you can simultaneously use both of them to control your printer or your prints so this is a really good news of about from creality that they actually implemented it although i wish i could do it myself pseudo password or something sshing into it doesn't let you install anything so maybe that's why they installed uh, main sale themselves because this comes with the last uh, firm uh, well software update uh, the one that pops up is actually this so well kind of situation is kind of fixed 
anyways guys i hope this video made you guys happy because we have tested it it is fine it does do the bed and the hot end separately which is awesome that is thumbs up for creality i'm not always negative about creality so when they do something great i'll say thumbs up and also thumbs up for putting mainsail on the new software anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye